In today's show, we have more information about Sam Payne's trip to the Shrine Bowl and about tonight's fine arts event. And I'm tracking some crazy weather coming up on Saturday. We'll have the details in your full forecast. Hey Cam, have you heard of the events tonight? I have it, but we caught up with Ally for more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. LeDuc to talk more about the Fine Arts Showcase. So what exactly is it? So tonight we're having our Seaman Fine Arts Showcase, which uh, showcases some of the, the best of the best artwork that students at Seaman High School have produced in the last year. Yep. Awesome. Okay, now back to your anchors. Make sure you go check that out at 5. Now onto the rest of your announcements. The variety show is tonight. If you're involved, make sure you're here at 5.30. The show starts at 7. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office will be increasing traffic enforcement around Shawnee County High Schools. Citations will be issued for those not buckled up. Sophomores. The bank is taking applications for the 2019-21 banking classes. If you're interested in being a part of a very unique educational experience, stop by, pick up an application form. Applications are due by Thursday, February 28th, and interviews will be take place on March 4th. Financial Services is offering a $500 scholarship for seniors in the name of the Kansas Superintendent of the Year finalist, Dr. Steve Noble. Check Schoology to see if you meet the criteria. Seniors can access an application through Google Form, also posted on Schoology. Application deadline is April 19th. The Seaman High School Alumni Association is also awarding two $500 scholarships to graduating seniors. Application deadline is March 1st. The application can be found on the Seaman High School Scholarship webpage. Battle of the Vans will be held on Monday, February 25th. Tickets go back on sale this week at all lunches. Tickets are $3 in advance and $5 out the door. All tickets bought for the original date are still good. Students, please update your MacBook Air operating system if, it's, if it is not current. If you need help, go to C4 or Preston Langley in the front office for help. In celebration of FFA week, the Seaman FFA chapter will hide two paper tractors every day throughout the school. If you find one, bring it to Ms. Van Gordon's classroom for a free meat stick. Shawnee County Parks and Rec needs volunteers for his kids' night out. The program will be serving children ages 6 to 11. For more information, contact Daniel Figgy. Now let's go check up what's going on in the sports world with Cameron. I will choose. I will choose. I will choose to respect my body. To rise above. To put myself first. First. First, Think I, want them, I, don't want them. I will choose not to fall victim to this cruel trap. It's my body. It's, it's our body. body. I will choose to keep my future in my own hands and not in the hands of people who will harm it. I will choose to say no to nudes. I will choose to ignore, delete, block, unfriend, unfriend. report, sexting. All these people in the room. I will choose to end this crisis. To not let last year's events repeat themselves. It's a simple feeling. You're simple. You don't need to see all of me. To know, love, appreciate me. I'm trying to make you understand. To all the I will choose. I will choose. We will choose. I will choose to send love. 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 I will choose to send love, not nudes. Sam Payne is playing in the Shrine Bowl. Let's learn more about that. One of our own senior Sam Payne was chosen to play in this year's Shrine Bowl. He now joins the class of 2017 graduate Dalton Cowan and others with this honor. 
Sam was honored during the halftime of the boys' varsity basketball game on February 1st. His name was given by his coach into a selection process. Um, they picked, uh, there was 466 kids nominated, and out of that, Sam is one of the 66 kids that got nominated. Uh, the sportscasters choose so many, and then the coaches have a, a selection. The Shrine Bowl is a way of fundraising for children at Shriners Hospital. The Shrine Bowl means me. It's a pretty awesome opportunity, obviously, to play the football game, and then you get to visit the Shriners Hospital and see all the kids and see all the benefits that go from playing that game goes towards their funds. All the money from our football game actually goes to the hospitals to support the kids that get treatment for they don't have to pay for. Make sure if you see Sam, you congratulate him on this honor. Make sure to congratulate Sam. Wellness night is tonight at Weston Enola from 6.30 to 8. Juniors and seniors interested in track and field can check out the locker on Wednesday after school. Snoffboards and freshmen come to school on Thursday to get your lockers checked out. If you haven't signed up yet, please join the track and field Schoology group. The baseball meeting has been rescheduled for tomorrow in the high school commons. Make sure you have all the papers turned in before Monday. Cheerleading tryouts will be on March 23rd. The clinic is from 9 to 12 and tryouts start at 1. There will be a parent meeting before tryouts on March 5th at 6 p.m. in the library. If you are unable to attend the meeting, packets can be picked up in the front office. If you have any questions, please speak with Coach Guys. Now, let's see what Joshua Pearl Duncan has in store with the weather. Happy Thursday to you. We did have some snow Tuesday night, officially at the Billard Airport. 3.2 inches. Many spots went over that, but officials are season total up to 23.3. Our average for the entire season is 17.8, so we're already well ahead of that, and we're likely going to continue to add to this throughout the next month or so. Our next snow chance arrives on Saturday, but initially it's going to be in the form of some rain. Drizzle and some sprinkles are possible Saturday morning as you're heading out. And as we head toward the afternoon, it becomes a little bit heavier with a wave lifting up from the south. Can't completely rule out a thunderstorm on Saturday. And in the evening hours, this is expected to transition over to some snow. Now, the other big story on Saturday going to be the winds. God 40 to 50 miles per hour. So if we do see any snow, it's going to cause blowing snow and reduce visibilities out on the roadways. Now, right now, the greatest potential for is to our northwest up in north central Kansas. However, we're still a couple days out and this could change. Really anywhere in this pink area could have the potential to see blizzard like conditions. So stay tuned for updates. We'll refine this forecast as we get closer. And now for your SGTV set, you can see that we do try to warm up to the lower 40s for Friday and Saturday before that colder air pushes through. Again, be prepared for rain, snow, and wind for the first half of the weekend. Now, Cameron and Jordan, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Make sure to check out the variety show tonight. Thank you.